Marie Antoine Carême, born 1784, is considered the first celebrity chef. Um, and he was really more of a pastry chef than, uh, than a savory culinary chef. And his beginning um, is, is so uh, unique, um, especially in that time period. He comes from the late eight, 18th and early 19th century, born 1784, the 16th um, child of a very poor um, family. Um, at the age of 10, um, his parents abandoned him and uh, left him to fend for himself. And he found a place as a kitchen boy, which was uh, uh, the equivalent of a utility worker um, in a kitchen today. Um, taking out trash, sweeping floors, cleaning up after. Um, he did this for a, a catering business. Um, in Paris. Um, Karim, um, at the age of 14 in 1798, um, was um, picked up by uh, Sylvan Bailey as an apprentice, um, an ap apprenti pâtissier, or a pastry apprentice. Um, he uh, apprenticed under Chef Bailey for about six years. And during that time, um, he also taught himself to read and write, having been largely um, uneducated up to that time. Um, to Karim's credit, um, in our industry today, we look to him as um, the founder, if you will, of grand cuisine. He, he made large, um, beautiful showpieces um, as he was the pastry chef um, for Talleyrand um, under Napoleon and um, considered then as uh, the king of chefs um, at that time. He's also credited uh, for our um, toque, our chef's hat. Um, he standardized sauce making and began, um, began the process of standardization within the industry that would be picked up um, about 50 or so years later. Um, also to his credit was a, a change in fine dining uh, food service. Um, in France, the, uh, the serving style, um, as patrons would come into a restaurant, um, they would be served what today we would consider to be uh, family style. Um, everyone sat around the table and the entire menu was served at one time in large platters and everyone at the table uh, served themselves. He was, um, Karem, uh, was very much a student of Russian table service. And that is uh, largely what, uh, what we practice today. Um, a menu for an event began with uh, a first course, a starter course, and would proceed throughout the meal, one course after another. And Karam was fond of serving um, his patrons one course after another, though some historians say he was still uh, very much um, also interested in uh, French service. Um, he died young. He was only 48 years old um, when, he, when he passed. And it is believed that Karam passed because of uh, lung damage originating from the coal-fired um, ovens and stoves that he spent um, his career working around. Um, one takeaway, I think, for all of us from Karim is um, the passion um, that you put into your own, uh, your own work um, is really the fuel 
um, what you what you get out of, as I've said before in in school, which you will get out of it whatever you put into it. Um, Karim was uh, was abandoned. Karim came from poverty. Karim was uneducated. He taught himself to read and write, um, and yet a strong work ethic and a, a desire to persevere and a desire to make the very best food possible won him opportunity after opportunity, and um, he made the most of that. Um, what a great example for all the rest of us. Ding, fries it done, ding, fries it done, ding, fries it done, ding, fries it done.